messengers of peace, right? Uh, messengers of peace, if we Google that, uh, usually comes to our mind, uh, people like the Boy Scouts or Girl Scouts. Um, but no, that's not what I'm talking about today. We're going to see a little bit more in detail in a few minutes. And we're going to get to play a game on Kahoot, all right? So here uh, on this space, you guys are going to find out one example or maybe two examples of what a world organization is. And also tell me really quick, uh, really quick, where did you get the information from? What website do you use to um, conduct your research? And <clears throat> after that, uh, there's here a short description of the United Nations, right? Um, and it explains why, why was it formed and what are their main duties, where it is located, and also um, what kind of, uh, of activities they do around the world. And here, I ask you some questions, which are, do the big nations have too much power in United Nations? And my question goes here uh, to talk about uh, nations such as Germany, France, Italy, uh, the United States, of course. These questions might be interesting. Are the nations united, right? Are the nations united? And, and some people might be thinking like, um, yes, they are united, right? Or maybe some people be thinking like, no, they are not united because there are so many conflicts around the world happening. In which countries should the United Nations do more right now? Okay, uh, <clears throat> I don't know. Any ideas? Any ideas? Every week we have a new conflict. Uh, every month we have a new conflict happening. Angel, can you think of an example in which countries should the United Nations do more right now? You think about it, uh, you two, Sol or Ricardo. Uh, maybe in developing countries, I think. In developing in countries? Them. Such as? Uh, Africa, uh, uh -huh. Latin America, I, uh -huh. I don't know. Yeah, Latin America, any ideas where? Venezuela. Venezuela, okay. Well, yeah, that, that's, that's interesting. Venezuela, but I think there could be a conflict, right? Like a conflict of interest. I don't know. I was thinking maybe in, <clears throat> let me write it here, maybe in Haiti, right? Uh, this, uh, this country usually suffers from uh, natural disasters. And I don't know if you remember that a few months ago, their president was killed, was uh, murdered in his house. He was sleeping uh, with his wife and a group of people uh, trespassed his house and killed him uh, right there. So Haiti is being suffering, not only because of they are a poor country, uh, they don't have COVID vaccines, uh, they have natural disasters and they kill their president. So. A lot of things, a lot of uh, difficult things are happening in this country right now. I'm not saying that Venezuela doesn't need help, uh, but I think it's too controversial to talk about that. Um, Angel, what do you think? In which countries should the United Nations do more right now? I, I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe in some Arabic nations as mm -hmm. the... Iraq or maybe uh, Israel. Uh -huh. Maybe there, Israel, yeah. There is uh, so much mm -hmm. political and uh, uh -huh. poli political problems and um, religion problems uh, uh -huh. about the, the territory. And I think uh, there there is a, a group of people, uh, it's called the, the Cascos Azules, I think. It's a, yeah. mm -hmm. it's like a military group of the United mm -hmm. Nations. And mm -hmm. they work uh, for the peace uh, in, in those uh, countries. 
Yeah, yeah, you're, you're right. Uh, the cascos azules, as you mentioned, the blue helmets, <clears throat> they um, work in countries where they have conflicts. And the cascos azules, uh, they usually bring food or medicine to countries wherever they have a, a conflict. You know, whenever there is a, a conflict happening, uh, that's where those people work. Um, let me move to the question number four, Sol. It says, the 33rd US President Harry Truman said, the United Nations is designed to make possible lasting freedom and independence for all its members. Do you think this will come one day? Let me, let me make a, a joke, a joke here, all right? A joke here, um, I don't know if you have seen, in fact, it's a meme, I don't have it uh, ready here, uh, but this meme says like, oh, that guy is like the United Nations. It's like, how, how, do, how do you compare a guy with the United Nations? Well, he is handsome, he is good looking, but serves for nothing, right? Okay, it's good for nothing. And um, so some people say that about the United Nations, that they look nice, you know, the countries look organized, but they actually do nothing. And we, we just saw it with the COVID vaccine. The rich countries, they had access to the vaccine and the poor countries, hmm, they, had a, they are really having a hard time to get the vaccine because they cannot afford it. They don't have enough money to pay for the vaccine. So that's when the United Nations should take place, right? Should like put an order and say like, oh, we need to help everybody. We are in this together and let's help each other. So <clears throat> anyway, going back to the question, Sol, do you think okay. this will happen? Yes. That's, I don't know. I don't think it will happen in a near future, but uh -huh. I hope it happens in the long term. But also, yes. I think um, I think it's, it's very complicated since the United Nations uh, do things, but as you said, it doesn't do as much or we don't see it as or yeah. um, in our like, environment or in our country. We don't see it, but mm -hmm. I think it's doing more than we think it is but it also because we don't maybe we don't do our research we don't know that that's what i think but also yeah. i think um, it's doing things right it's not doing too much but it's doing things but i also think if the united nations didn't do that who will do it nothing and even if it's not much um, it's something that's yeah. the first thought i have and the other thing is um, that it is um, very difficult for it to be um, an organization in which countries uh, can't, or in which countries could not take a preference since, since it's the countries who give the money to it. Uh -huh. So I think uh -huh. that's why it's difficult for as a whole United Nations to tell for example, uh, the United States, no, you don't make the decisions um, which is more convenient for you because we are working as a whole, but also the United Nations could say, okay, if I'm not doing or not making the decisions, I will uh, donate less the, the following year and that will mm -hmm. be a big problem. Definitely. Um, I agree with you. Uh, it's, it looks really nice for a president of any country to go there and speak beautiful things like, oh, we're going to change the world, we're going to stop climate change, we're going to get vaccines for everybody. But in reality, it's something that is difficult to happen, right? And little by little, I think people like organizations, the small organizations need to go and push the United uh, Organizations like the United Nations to do something for real, okay? Now, uh, thank you, so <clears throat> On exercise 3.7.4, it says, beside the ambassadors, the United Nations have so-called messengers of peace. Discuss the following. What is a messenger of peace? What is his or her function? 
find a couple of examples of people who are or were messengers of peace and describe what they fight for. And here, on the next exercise is, you're going to watch a speech from one of the messengers of peace. And this messenger of peace is Leonardo DiCaprio. So when you Google the answer, you're going to find out that usually celebrities are chosen because they can speak to the masses. They can speak to their followers and give them a message on what needs to be done urgently around the world. So here in Leonardo DiCaprio's case, he focuses on climate change. Last week, we watched a documentary about climate change. Also, Leonardo DiCaprio, he has another documentary, uh, but it's really, really sad. I mean, uh, when you watch it, makes you like your soul like oof, like you feel something super heavy inside your i mean inside you when you watch the documentary the name of the documentary it's before the flood let me let me write it here mm, uh what is it right here before the flood right that's the name of the documentary before the flood antes de la inundación so in this documentary, Leonardo DiCaprio describes how climate change is changing the sea levels. And he's talking to the people of things that we can do before it's too late, okay? So watch this, um, let me remove this, yes. Watch this documentary, uh, or not, it's not a documentary, it's like a, a short video and here on this picture, you can see uh, this guy right here, he's Ban Ki-moon. Ban Ki-moon, he's a United Nations um, a president, and he is naming Leonardo DiCaprio a messenger of peace, of peace, sorry. And you're going to watch the video and you're going to answer these four questions. How does Leonardo DiCaprio describe his job? How does he compare acting with climate change? Which environmental problems does he mention? And finally, number four, what is the solution to these problems according to DiCaprio? All right. So he mentions or he talks about all these uh, four questions in this uh, short video on YouTube. Now, let's move to the fun part right here on Kahoot. Let's play a game and learn a little more about the United Nations. Now, let me go to the chat and let me share with you um this link so we can we can play together all right let me <clears throat> okay mm -hmm. where is it give me a minute so i can share a link with you guys It's right here. Play teach. Okay. <clears throat> so that is the website. And this is the pin. And let me All right. Okay, Sol is here, Angel is here. Ricardo, where are you? Yeah, uh, my internet is very low, please. Uh, All right. Are you gonna try to connect? Uh, yes, but I don't think, think that I'm going to be able to. 
connect. All right. Sorry. Okay. So Angel and Sol, I think it's up to you two guys. All right. So let's let's start. Wow, you guys are good. Awesome.
Wow, congratulations. All right, uh, good job, good job. So, Angel, Ricardo, I'm glad that you uh, joined. Can you please take a, a screenshot of this? Because uh, you are going to uh, post this on the lesson. So, <clears throat> I saw, I noticed that you, Angel and Sol, you were very confident in your answers. Have you played this game before? Yes, I have. All right, and you, Angel? Uh, Kahoot, yes, uh, but uh -huh. this, uh, this topic, uh, I, no. I don't really know. Play. All, right. All right, okay, well, your answers were good. I mean, even if you haven't played this before. Um, so the United Nations, again, it's a, it's a controversial topic because let me stop sharing my screen. It is controversial because as we mentioned, uh, everything can sound like very nice, very cool. Like, oh, this uh, group of people are helping other people who are uh, vulnerable. But sometimes uh, we need to do more. And the message of this lesson is that if you can um, do something to help like a little cost, no matter how small this is, but the, the, the small job that you do, and if it contributes to construct or to build a better society, that's going to be uh, fine, that's going to be perfect. And sometimes when we talk about business, we usually uh, stop thinking about the planet. And I think we are holding this together and we need to uh, make actions to stop things like not only global warming, but to end poverty, to end hunger, to end um, uh, um, you know, lots of things that are happening around the world. Okay, now uh, Sol, is, she's saying, can I share an announcement? Yeah, what kind of announcement is this? It's not commercial, right? <laughs> not really, <laughs> but in the, the uh, questions we saw an uh, important topic that was the 17 development goals which is something that the third 2030 agenda works for and yes. i just want to, to tell you that and you and my um, classmate that the mm -hmm. university of Guanajuato is um doing an event regarding this development goals and how we work them in our university so right. next, next week the event is called SDGs Week UG. So if you mm -hmm. want to take place, you can do it. There has we have planned many events during the week, four days, and the events will be virtual and also like in person. All right. Thank you, Sol. Thank now, you. can you please um, can make sure that you can post this information on on our classroom platform, right? Mm -hmm. If you cannot. If you cannot, so send me the link here on the chat, send me the link and I can post it. So I can make the invitation for everybody. All right, okay. Let me download it because- uh, I have, the, I have a, a direct link, I'll share it. I just looking for it, but thank you so much. All right, okay, I just download it. Uh, okay. Do you have like a, a link, uh, Sol? Why a link? Because the classroom platform doesn't allow me to post images, I guess. Yes, I have a link. Let me just yeah. copy. All right, please. Okay, well, uh, thank you very much guys for uh, attending today's, today's session. Um, there is one more session happening next week on November 22nd. And we're going to see the last activity, which is called uh, Ethics in Business. And also, we're going to see two more things. The other one is teacher evaluation. That is an activity where I want you to evaluate my job. It's super important to me to receive your feedback, to receive your comments on whether, uh, let me copy this before I close it. Okay. Uh, hmm. I don't have Facebook, so let me just copy. All right. Oh, okay, I think I copy it. So 
as I was saying that the teacher evaluation is super important to me because um, this helps me to uh, construct better classes. I know that I make mistakes and that's totally natural, that's totally normal. So please feel free to evaluate my job. And then the next activity, the last activity is quiz number three. Uh, and basically that's it, we finish with this course. So I hope that you are enjoying this course as, as much as I am doing it. And I hope that you're learning a little bit, a little bit of in this class. So thank you very much for joining me today. And I don't know if you want to say something today. Well, this is my first um, class that I joined. Usually I will uh, watch the recording, but yes. um, I wish I had um, joined before, but also sometimes it was uh, very difficult for my schedule, but I like the, the way we discuss the, the subject here. All right, okay. So thank you for joining us. Uh, Sol, Angel, Ricardo, have a good day and I'll see you next week. Take care, bye-bye. Bye, thank you. Thank you, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Goodbye. Have a nice day.